Hey, this is Brandon with Retro Archaeology, and in this video, I'm actually kicking off a new series that I'm going to be doing that's been kind of a long time coming for me. So what is this series that I'm intentionally kicking off in the month of July? Well, it's my 007 series. So I have been wanting to go through and chronologically watch all the Bond films for a long time. And when I started collecting VHS a couple years ago, and really kind of got into the different releases that there were, I always gravitated towards big box, um, the big drawer box of VHS. And early on kind of started collecting the Bond films on drawer box VHS. It's taken a long time, but I finally, finally have them all. So uh, the last Bond movie to get released on VHS was Die Another Day. They don't all have drawer big boxes. They stopped doing that in the mid 80s and just went to the traditional slip, but the earlier Bond movies, so we're talking Connery and Roger Moore mostly, uh, really leveraged this release, which is, this isn't all of them, by the way, uh, the big box drawer format. So I'm going to be talking more about each of these in this series, but I just want to show you, this is the CBS Fox drawer box version of the Bond movies. Here's Dr. No, the first Bond film. And I instantly gravitated towards this. It feels like more than just a VHS to me. Like, I love the fact that it's got this drawer, it slides out, it's got the little window here with the VHS cutout. And this isn't the first release of a Bond movie on VHS. Uh, before CBS Fox, slightly before, uh, 20th Century Fox Video put out a lot of the early Bond films in a big box format. I early on really wanted to focus on collecting the CBS Fox versions uh, because I feel like they actually give the poster art a lot more real estate. Uh, the 20th Century Fox versions have a bigger banner up top. They scrunch it a little bit more and cut off the bottom. These CBS Fox versions really allow the James Bond poster art, which is so great for some of the, the 60s and 70s movies to be showcased. Uh, and I just love the aesthetic of this. Uh, love that it kind of feels like a gadget the way it slides out just kind of adding to that that James Bond feel so I've been after these for a long time another reason I went with the CBS Fox line of big boxes is in the mid 80s even when they moved to the slip only version so we're talking like Living Daylights uh, A View to Kill um, License to Kill those movies are actually CBS Fox so the spines look the same they're just not the big box version and I'll show you uh, when we get to that that point of the, that series, uh, what those releases look like and when those switched over. So I've been collecting the big box James Bond films. The later ones are easier to come by for a while now. And I finally have them all to kick off this series in July. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Why James Bond on VHS? That's the question I want to answer in this kickoff video. And I actually do have, uh, hopefully a nostalgia fueled answer for you for those of you that might remember spike tv so i can remember spike tv used to have james bond movie marathons all the time and i distinctly remember them happening around thanksgiving and for me as someone probably 14 14 to 16 at the time when they were doing this that was my exposure to a lot of those early bond films and i definitely probably didn't sit through them all. I would tune in, there'd be commercials, get distracted by something else. It would be Thanksgiving dinner time. We'd watch a movie later. Um, but I remember taking in a lot of those early Bond films in bits and pieces with the commercial breaks on Spike TV. Uh, and there's probably only a handful of Connery and Roger Moore that I really have sat down and seen start to finish without commercial breaks. And this series is really an opportunity for me to kind of bring back those memories of those Bond movie marathons in four by three at the time. And the format really kind of brings back that nostalgia for me. It was a lot of fun having uh, the ability to just flip on the TV and see a Bond action scene. A lot of times I didn't even know what movie it was without the TV guide. You just tuned in and uh, you hear that theme song and you're sucked in to that, that Bond verse. So it's going to be a lot of fun to go through. Uh, I'm going to share a video after each Bond movie and really just talk about 
some of the key moments, the moments that I loved, maybe the history of the movie a little bit, and the release on VHS. And I hope you join me in this series. Uh, I've been a James Bond film fan for a long time. I grew up with Pierce Brosnan as my Bond. Like, he was James Bond to me. Um, as the years have progressed, I kind of appreciate all of them. Uh, but uh, especially Daniel Craig. Gosh, he just really kind of took that role to the next level for me in the last, you know, decade or so. But Pierce Brosnan was like my my childhood James Bond. And Goldeneye on N64 played the heck out of it at my buddy's house as a kid. Um, surprisingly, that probably wasn't the Bond game that I logged the most hours on. 007 Nightfire, it was a GameCube game. And my friends would play that game to death. To this day, I honestly think the most amount of hours I've ever logged on a video game is 007 Nightfire on GameCube. A split screen shooter tournament. So James Bond's kind of been in my life since I was young, since uh, I can remember movie marathons and uh, really have just kind of appreciated the character and all the fun that those movies bring for a long time. Recently went to a Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago where they have a James Bond exhibit in 2024. It's a traveling exhibit. Amazing. They've got cars. They've got interactive exhibits. Uh, they've got tons of gadgets and movie props, and it really kind of pushed me to, to finish off this collection, hunt down all these releases, and, and get to do this series where I watch them all in chronological order. So keep tuning in. I don't know how long it's going to take me, but it's going to be a fun journey through the world of 007. Thanks.